Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to another topic. Today in this video, we are gonna be talking about Deep Packet Inspection. Deep Packet Inspection or DPI is an advanced function for packet filtering used by modern or next generation firewalls. The main purpose of DPI is to examine what kind of information is being sent and make sure it's all good and safe. In simple words, deep packet inspection can find, detect, classify, block or reroute packets with specific code or data payloads that are not found, classified, blocked or redirected by traditional packet filtering. At the most basic level, deep packet inspection is like a detailed examination of data being sent over the internet. When data is sent over the internet, it is broken down into smaller pieces called packets. Packet inspection in general is like a checkpoint for data traveling across a network. To clear things up, DPI doesn't just look at the packet's basic details like where it is going. It goes deeper, checking its actual content. This is what basically deep packet inspection is all about. Now the question is how does DPI work? Deep packet inspection works in a very simple way. It examines the contents of data packets passing through a given checkpoint and makes real-time decisions depending on what a packet contains and based on rules assigned by you, internet service provider or a network administrator. If it finds any content that is forbidden, it denies access and blocks the traffic. Previous forms of packet filtering only looked at packet header information which is similar to reading an address printed on an envelope without any knowledge of the contents of the envelope. This was the main issue with older technology. Until recently, firewalls did not have the processing power necessary to perform deeper inspections on large volumes of traffic in real time. Technological advancements have enabled DPI to perform more advanced inspections so that it can check both packet headers and data. So now deep packet inspection is able to check the contents of these packets and then figure out where they came from, such as the service or application that sent it. In addition to that, it can work with filters in order to find and redirect network traffic from an online service, such as Twitter or Facebook or from a particular IP address. Now, deep packet inspection uses three main techniques for packet filtering. Signature or pattern matching. In this technique, DPI looks for specific patterns that are known to be malicious and blocks the traffic if it finds such a pattern. Protocol anomaly. It follows a default deny approach. Firewall determines which content or traffic should be allowed based on protocol definitions. Intrusion prevention system. In this method, if a particular packet represents a known security threat, IPS will proactively deny network traffic based on a defined rule set. Now you must be thinking about what are the uses and applications of deep packet inspection, right? Well, it can be used for many purposes. If your organization has users who are using their laptops for work, then deep packet inspection is vital in preventing worms, spyware, viruses and other forms of malicious traffic from getting into your corporate network. It can also be used for more nefarious activities like eavesdropping and state-sponsored censorship. In fact, Chinese government has been known to use deep packet inspection to monitor the country's network traffic and censor some content and websites that are harmful to their interests. This is how China has been able to block out pornography, religious information, materials concerning political issues, and even popular websites such as Wikipedia, Google, and Facebook. Deep packet inspection is also useful for network management and content policy enforcement, to stop data leaks, and to streamline or modify the flow of network traffic as per specific use cases. For instance, if you have a high priority message, you can use deep packet inspection to enable high priority information to pass through immediately ahead of other lower priority messages. If you have problems with peer to peer downloads, you can use deep packet inspection to throttle or slow down the rate of data transfer. In spite of having all these use cases, deep packet inspection has one big drawback. 
it can reduce network speed and performance because it creates network bottlenecks and increases the burden on firewall processors for data decryption and inline inspection. Okay, no, so as a review, traditional inspection just looks at the outer part of the data packets, like where they are going and where they came from. Deep packet inspection, on the other hand, really digs into the details. It opens up the packets and looks closely at the content inside. It can understand what kind of information is being sent, not just where it is headed. The deeper check helps manage the network and keep it safe as DPI can prevent denial of service attacks, buffer overflow attacks and even security risks that normal inspection methods would miss. In short, deep packet inspection is like having a detailed x-ray of data packets while standard methods are more like a basic security check. Alright, so with that this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.